PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome is a very common hormonal imbalance in women. As a matter of fact, it's the most common hormonal imbalance of all women of reproductive age. Probably 8% of all women have PCOS. Now in medicine, 1% is a very common occurrence, so 8% is extremely common. So you're in very good company. I'm gonna ask and answer a couple questions about PCOS in order to review this topic fully. So the first question I'm gonna ask is, well, what is it? It's a name, but what does it mean? Well, PCOS is basically where the codes from your brain that try to tell your ovaries what to do, to try and get you to ovulate one egg per month, are garbled. So in the body, the code's gotta be very exact. It's gotta be something similar to dot, dot, dot. And if it's a little bit off, like dot, dot, dash, I mean, I just made that up, but you know what I mean. Uh, then the ovaries just can't get the message and they're not going to be able to ovulate properly. And you're gonna skip ovulations, which make you skip periods. So some women don't have any ovulations and they have no periods. Anymore. Some women will eventually, that garbled message will get through and eventually they'll have a couple of ovulations per year. Um, and so that woman might have 45 day menstrual cycles or 60 day menstrual cycles, or only have three or four periods per year. So she may ovulate, but not often and not in a uh, scheduled, efficient way. So that's what PCOS is. At its core, it's the messages from the brain telling ovaries what to do are garbled. Now that can hurt your chances of getting pregnant in two different ways. First and foremost, if you have a period once per month, that means you're ovulating once per month. That means that there are 12 to 13 eggs per year for a couple to try and get pregnant. It's actually not that many times per year if you think about it. But then if you add on the burden of not ovulating on time, you might only have six eggs per year, four eggs per year, eight eggs per year, or none, depending on how many times you're ovulating. So that's not fair, right? That's a low number and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to take four chances per year and think you're gonna get pregnant. Additionally, and probably more importantly, is that it's impossible to time a random event. So if you don't know when you're gonna ovulate, how do you, how do you catch that random phenomenon? So that's really the ways in which PCOS can hurt the chances of, of, uh, of getting pregnant and building your family.